Over in Laos, a dam, part of a joint construction project involving a Korean firm, collapsed, taking lives and destroying homes. Seoul responded by sending financial aid and, over in the weekend, dispatched a medical team to help those affected by the disaster. Cha Sangmi gets us up to speed with the developments. The 20 member South Korean medical team dispatched to Laos will set up a clinic at the local health center in Sanamsai, in the southern province of Atapu, where the dam collapsed last week. They arrived on Sunday at the airport of Pakse. Over the next 10 days, 15 doctors and five support staff will treat displaced residents of Atapu province and help prevent the spread of contagious diseases. The medical have different specializations, including internal medicine, pediatrics, and emergency medicine. After setting up their clinic, they will be joined by doctors from the Atapu State Hospital. Their services are likely to be in high demand from the roughly 3,500 displaced residents being housed in temporary shelters. The team is led by Do Dongwan from Korea's National Medical Center, who said they will work to, quote, cure the wounded hearts of the Laotian people and do their best to start giving treatment as soon as possible. Dr. No, who has ample experience in disaster areas abroad, said he organized the team based on the information the advance party had sent. South Korea's foreign ministry is considering the dispatch of an additional emergency team or relief supplies in case the current team in Laos or the Laotian government asks for more help. The ministry has already sent out a million dollars worth of relief goods, including cash and more than a thousand blankets and sanitation kits. More than 130 people are still missing after last week's dam collapse, which has so far claimed nearly 30 lives. The reason the dam broke has still not been discovered. It was built by a joint venture that included two Korean companies, SK Engineering and Construction Company and Korea Western Power Company. Cha Sang-mi, Arirang News.